Hello everybody, it's LadyJack20, welcome back to Let's Play of Dust Legion Tell. I'm talking really fast because I'm trying to make something sound more interesting than I could ever hope to have it sound. In the last part, I have successfully reunited Korra and her husband, Kane. Oh my gosh, why did I just let that happen? Oh jeez, I'm losing a lot of health and fast. Why is it that sometimes the burns only hurt me for like one health each and then sometimes I get hit and it's like 30 damage each turn? Okay, um, creaky chair, jeez, I gotta find some way to make it less creaky, anyway, so now that I've actually destroyed the evil demon that was, you know, possessing Kane's soul, hopefully that will in turn take down the barrier that was keeping me from entering the Blackmore Mountains, in which case, I can then head up to the top, find that <clears throat> Moonblood Sympathizer encampment, and hopefully, uh, you know, reach Ginger before, um, you know, any of General Guy's soldiers think it's time to revisit that place. I mean, who knows, if they've already spotted me, which I don't know why they haven't already taken their shot at trying to, you know, capture me slash kill me, if they've already seen me, you know, reversing the very thing that they don't want me doing. General Guy's is odd. I don't know why it would let, allow me to live any longer. Gosh, these freaking spikes. I hope I never have to deal with these spi these, these type of spikes again. Another another the wicked uh, augment. I already have plenty of those, though, already. But soon. I'm almost done with this place. Then we can head on to the... Alright, I guess I can spoil it a little. The second to last area of the game. This is a short game, yes. I would love for either an expansion, not like an expansion pack, but like an extension of this story sequel-wise, or even just another world, another game set in the same world. See, I just knew standing around here would pay off. Huh? That barrier couldn't take it anymore and just shattered. Thank you. <sighs> Good work, Augustine. I knew I could count on you. Are you heading up the mountain? This is a long way up, but the old road was blocked off ages ago, so you don't have much choice. Don't worry about us. You stay here and guard these rocks. I'll take it as a personal challenge. Yep. You and me, Dust. We're gonna save the world. I will be sure to give credit where credit is due. As long as we acknowledge that I did most of the work. So what do we got? Five keys. Okay, let's uh head on in here then. Anything to my right? Oh yes, we got Bumble Walk. Rock. Not walk. The heck am I trying to No, dang it! The chicken is stuck in the wall. Man. That sucks. Ah oh well. But I can just buy some more at the store, anywho. And considering I have over f almost 40 of them, I don't think I'm really in a desperate need for more chicken. Alright then, let us head out of Sorry Meadow and up into the mountains. Interesting. Well then, a new region has been revealed. What was not a particularly large one. Oh, the environment became a little more tiley rock. Oh, that's snow. Huh. Okay, it just got a little colder. Oh, wow. Every time these environments just look amazing to me. Just the sunrise, the aurora borealis over the mountains over there. I think that's the name. I don't know. I I, I always remember like two different kinds of wolf. Back up, back up, I I I back, back. Go. Sheesh. I didn't think wolves would themselves would think twice to fight me. Uh, what are these things? Are these like Yeti Moonblood? Warrior, like, minion thingies. Okay, I think I was trying to see how it is. The Moonbloods, at least from what I can tell, the Moonbloods are actually quite nice. Um, but I guess what happened on Fuse's end was that Fuse just went crazy and decided, you know, start going crazy and kill everybody. And then he got his own sympathizers, or, you know, followers, these guys, who I'm killing. I think I'm starting to understand, you know, the organization of who is who now. 
Either way, the people who attack me, I'm most likely going to have to retaliate. The Trolk Jacket. Still not as good as the Spectral Vest. Ah oh, well. They really need to give me better items. Or at least there should be a system where... There should be a system where if I already have... I think I already have one of those. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to make one more. Hey, I have two sets. Ring of the Apprentice, Mastering of the Artisan. Oh, then that Mastering of the Artisan just looks like a much better version of the Ring of the Apprentice. Gosh dang it. Hmm. I'll keep the three times- I'll keep the three times item drops just so until I can, you know, catalog every material in the game. A lot of snow here. I wish I could pick some up for Bopo, but again, I need something cool to keep it in and then I can return it to him. For that sentimental moment he so wishes to have. Oh, I was gonna finish that thought. Oh yeah. I just wish there was like a system where- Oh, level up. Nice. A uh, system where once I get a really good item, the game just start- The treasure chest they can still have because, you know, those are predetermined, preset. That looks really nice. But it drops my defense while it was 100. Ah! I don't know about that. But there should be a system where... Uh, yeah, a system where, um... Once I get a really powerful item, the game just automatically says, Okay, let's stop spawning or let's stop having the enemies drop you know, recipes to make weaker items. Why would he ever make a weaker item? It costs more than it does to sell it. At least in the most, at least in most cases. And he, again, he already has better items. Why would that be something he would want? I don't even know. <clears throat> what is this? I've only been able to make this climb once, but I'm not sure if I ever want to return to that place. Rocking, frigid, or... Is either... Rocky and frigid, or bl blocky and rigid. So he's mentioning something about blocks, a lot of blocks, and corners, and rigid pixels, I don't even know. But yeah, I will not be able to make that climb myself until I get a new- Oh, jeez! You snuck up on me, don't sneak up on me. I kind of start doing the parrying ability, and I just start freaking out and make everybody go slow motion. So please do not sneak up on me. You may creep up on me. Then I'll probably just, you know, see you and end your life rather quickly. But don't sneak up on me. Very different. My gosh, these guys are just... I hope my capture card can handle all of the snow graphics that are just happening in the overlayer. Hmm. They seem to go on and off, which is interesting. Don't even try it. How did that not hurt him? He attacked me with his mouth, and I, and I, you know, blocked it with the edge of my sword. And he just kind of gets bumped back like, Dude, really? Oh. Whoa, what was that? Looks like the snow hasn't fully settled yet. And we should be careful. The slightest wrong move could set off another avalanche. Don't look at me. You're the one who can't fly. Yes, but you're the one with the big mouth. Hey! Oh, no. Ah, glad I wasn't standing there a couple seconds ago. Glad I wasn't standing there. Um. Ooh, a key. Man, I hope those poor bunnies down there weren't hurt by all that. Fitch, you could have ended the lives of poor bunnies. So, the great traitor has finally found everlasting peace. The great traitor? You're talking about Cain? My kind does not utter his name. His actions ended many innocent lives, and while his spirit may be absolved now, we remember only his life and the tragedy it wrought. He seemed truly remorseful for his actions. Perhaps he was. Perhaps we were to accept his remorse. This would not bring my family back. Let us not dwell on his wicked actions any more than we must. Fair enough. Very well. Well, let us see if I may sell you any new materials I have found from those guys just down the hill from you. Got some wolf belts. You, yeah, you look like a guy who could use some wolf belts. Maybe trick out that new robe of yours. It looks cool. You know, maybe make something 
more comfortable for, you know, serving in the underground and the forest and the snowy caverns. I don't even know how you make your store so environmentally comfortable no matter where you set up shop. In the meanwhile, you don't seem to have anything really new for me to buy. Hmm. Figures. Well, I can buy, um... I can buy those three chickens. These must be the three chickens I kept losing in all those walls I kept finding. Ooh, birthday cake. Yeah, it's a little late, but I, I can buy a couple. I do like cake. My brother, on the other hand, uh, he should be fine with me talking about it. It's not like I'm making, divulging any personal information. He just does not like cake. I don't know why, what kind of... What kind of child does not like cake? He doesn't like ice cream or cookies either. This is the kid who, if you take him to a state fair, he would rather have a pickle, like one of the pickles that they sell at the vendors or whatever, and eat that, as opposed to, you know, any of the sweets they have or any funnel cake, anything like that. I'm saying... Oh my god, I'm just saying, this is a kid who, growing up, he preferred eating sliced bread as a snack food. To which I thought, looked at him and was like, how does that even work? I mean, if you're going to have the, all the carbs or whatever that comes from bread, you can might as well just enjoy it like a normal kid and have, you know, chips, crack crackers, fruit roll-ups, I don't even know. For me, I love cake. Too much for my body to handle, so I usually have to take it easy and, you know, express willpower or whatever the heck they're calling it now. And exercise, of course, I have to exercise as well. Which is the only thing I'm, again, truly afraid of losing. I mean, the experience... Oh, nice. I was able to get that treasure key with that. That's That makes one other thing that I don't have to, you know, fall through and lose progress by having to backtrack. <clears throat> um, that is one of the one things I'm just truly afraid of losing since I'm now out of the dancing and singing group that I was previously in. Is it just two times a week, usually three to five hours those two days so whatever oh, almost 10 hours a week of all this dancing and singing really could just it, it was really amazingly efficient exercise but now I'm going to find you know I'm actually going to like set up a routine go to a gym just I, I always kind of liked the dancing one not because it basically was like knocking two birds out with one stone exercising is now going to be like twice as difficult for me because now I will actually have to make an, an actual effort to go out of my way to set time for exercising as opposed to just having it be one of the activities I do. This looks awesome. 10 regen, 18, okay. What do I need for this? Um, I can get 20 of those. But those crystal things that they want, I've never seen those before. Hmm. Hopefully I'll find an enemy that drops those sooner or later. Get out of here! <clears throat> All these dang enemies are ambushing me. They give a lot of good experience too, I'll give them that. That's one of the only things I never really notice in this game. Except for my health number and you know the number of items and gold. The amount of damage I do, I never really pay attention to. I just say, I'm just gonna hit them until they die. And for the amount of experience, I'm just going to keep playing until that blue meter, or heck, I'm just going to keep playing. Half the time, I don't even realize how much experience I have until the next level. I just kind of get it randomly, as you've noticed. I'm just like, okay, I guess I leveled up. But thank you. I'm going to take my skill gem and go. See, that's what the thing. I'm not measuring my attack in the numbers it's dealing. I just measure my attack in how many moves does it take to kill this one thing? Oh, I guess it was just death animation. Okay, never mind. Okay, so flag led me here. Hopefully, it'll be something to make climbing up this mountain easier. Ice bombs, get out of here! Hello, anyone down here? Oh, hello there. Huh? Oh. Okay, so whenever it hold so it holds up a crystal, whoever's on that crystal, it'll do damage to him unless I kill this thing. So that's just the. So I guess I just waylay on it. Okay, cool. Yeah, take that, Mimi. Don't hold back, fidget. 
So I guess that happened. I dropped an ability up there. So that drop one of those crystal things I need. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Hollow shard. Alright, so those drop them. Alright, I'll be sure to catalog that. What is this? Double jump. Excellent. Kind of surprised it took me this long to get the double jump, but I will not I will not complain. It's kinda of cool how it just it's like it's wings. It, it, it's a it's one of those double jumps that makes sense that you could do the double jump. Cause things like, you know, Jack and Daxter. Those ones never really made sense how I could do a double jump there. He just kind of forced the air underneath him to push him into a second jump. Ratchet and Clank it made sense because you, you know, you had the, uh, boot, you had the booster powers of Clank's, you know, helipack or, you know, rocket thruster modes or whatever. <clears throat> and this, it looks like we're just kind of summoning spiritual wings or something. Which again, I like, and actually it makes sense. Heck, knowing this world, I would, I would have under, I would have totally been cool with if they just had, oh, a ghost just kind of throws you in the middle of air. We just summon a ghost, he does it for you. I would have bought that even. And that sounds like the worst idea for a double jump ever that I could come up with. Ow! Man, there's a lot of them up there. What? But that wasn't there. Well, let's just head on up then. Carefully, carefully now. There we go. Man, this and this double jump makes getting around so much easier. What we got in here? Bring a study? Awesome. No idea what that does or how it's useful to me, but if it's a new ring <clears throat> and it was obtained later than other blueprints, then it has to be better. Crap, I missed something in here. You know what, whatever, I'll just... Did I really just truly miss something? Hang on, let me see this. Hmm. It definitely seems like the Master Ring of Focus should be my priority. <clears throat> oh, my throat's a bit sore. I better get some water before I record the next part. That would be very much efficient. Why did I use that word? Why did I say that word when I don't even truly really mean that word? I just... I, I just open my mouth and whatever was on my mind just instantly comes out as the word I want to say. What the heck? This is why I would not be good for uh, live commentary. Is this snowsuit any better? Awesome, it totally is. What do I need? More wolf pelts. A lot more than just one and more hollow crystals. Cool. That's more than likely going to be a I will do that later kind of thing. You guys dig? Of course you dig. Let's just move on. <clears throat> and this wolf's gonna be a bit of a pain. Thank you. I'm just gonna go back to the store. Actually, no, no, I can go over here actually. And, um. I'm gonna head back over here. And I'm going to use the four keys I believe I have. I, at least I hope I have four keys. And I'm gonna go in there because in up there is another friend to save. I'm not gonna spoil anything. Although I already kinda did say that there's this friend, so I bet now everyone's gonna be like, what what friend is he gonna save? Oh, level up, nice. See, I just I did not even know it was that close to level up. I'm just like, okay, I'll take it. If these guys don't die any quicker, I might just have to do that in the next part. So if you so have anyone to blame for why I'm gonna have to visit them in the next part, blame these guys. Oh my gosh, stop the combos right now. I know I don't have much health, health, but I can totally take you down. There. Oh, but now I think we're pushing too long if I want to actually go through here in a nice time. So you know what? I'm Lucky Jack 20 doing a Let's Play of Dust and Legion Tale. In the next part, I will enter this strangely weird door. See ya!